Bye. Fine, fine. Good. <laughs> Selling business all right, is it? Oh, couldn't be better. Good. <laughs> How's sheriffing business? Oh, about like usual, just about like usual. <laughs> about like usual, huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I sure could use you back on the force if you're ready to give up this nonsense. Oh, give up my career? Just when things are going great? Boy, oh boy, wouldn't that be a fool thing to do? <laughs> I, I couldn't afford to give up this income, Andy. Boy, you really must be moving them things. Let's yeah. see who you're selling them to. Uh, uh. <laughs> this thing's full of empty pages. Well, well, sure. <laughs> There's my second book, Andy. I filled the first book up already, and I just started on that one. Is that right? Yeah. You'll be a wealthy man pretty soon, won't you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good morning, Andy. Things are going pretty good down the office, then, huh? Oh, fine. Fine. Good, good. How's, uh... Oh, Rogers? Rogers, yeah. How's he working out? Fine. Good, good. Barney, why don't you come back on the force? Did well, uh, look, Andy, I really got to be going because I got a lot of these <laughs> live prospects waiting for me, you know. <laughs> I'll see you. Okay, I'll, I'll see you. All right. And that Barney wanted to be a salesman. Well, he convinced me. I want to tell you the truth. That boy weighs about 100 pounds, and I would swear that 50 of it's proud. <laughs> I would have come and told you all about it, but Barney made me promise not to. Mm, proud, 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 proud. <laughs> what are you going to do, Andy? Mm, I'll have to get him back on the force. Yes. I, I don't know how. But I reckon I'll just have to think of something, won't I? Sheriff? Yeah. Sure up a book full of citations today. Good. Oh, by the way, Sheriff, I just saw Fife peddling his vacuum cleaners. Yeah? Well, I meant to ask you, did uh, Fife get his license from you? What license? The license to sell from door to door. You know, the Green River Ordinance. No. <laughs> well, Sheriff. It's a misdemeanor. Uh, I mean, if you want to overlook it since Fife's a friend of yours. Oh, oh, the, the Green River Ordinance. Yeah. Oh, no, no. We can't let people go around violating the Green River Ordinance. <laughs> oh, sir, you better go pick Fife up on that. Right. Right. That ought to do it. <laughs> Actually, I'm not surprised at this, Sheriff Taylor. I knew from studying that chart that there hasn't been an offense of this nature in Mayberry in the past 10 years. Now, it just doesn't figure that in that time there shouldn't be a few violations. Well, I guess we just haven't been that strict with the enforcement. Well, that throws your whole crime picture out of kilter. It does? Certainly it does. Why, just look at your chart here. Code 304 never enforced. Never. Nothing there. You've got to have at least one representative case to balance out your law enforcement picture here in Mayberry, or without it, you've got yourself a very unbalanced chart. Well, now I've heard everything. So that's all I am, huh? Just a figure on a chart. You completely ignore the fact that I'm a human being. Now, Barney... Well, it's true, Andy. And you want to know something? I don't think you're fit to be a deputy. You're so wrapped up in your books and your charts that you, you're ignorant about people. And you want to know something else? I ain't gonna stand by and see this happen. Andy, I withdraw my retirement. I wanna be restored to the force. I'm gonna fight for my job because I think that I'm a whole lot more qualified than... What's that? Your uniform. Thanks, Andy. You won't regret this. And you better gird your loins, Buster. You got a fight on your hands. <laughs> Feisty little fellow, isn't he? Yeah. He's right, you know. Yeah, I expect he is. Apparently, there's a little more to sheriffing than books and charts. Yeah. Hey, 
Hey, you know, I never heard of the Green River Ordinance. What is that? Well, in 1924, a little town called Green River, there was this... Uh... <laughs> Charlie Rose, the latest powerful man fired for sexual misconduct. How to spot sexual harassment on the job and report it. Plus a little rain on the way, a little fog, and then it's all systems go for the holiday. Your forecast, new and next. Attention Medicare beneficiaries living in these North Carolina counties. Now is the time to review your current Medicare coverage. Call and talk to United Healthcare about our choice of Medicare Advantage plan options, including an AARP Medicare Complete plan insured through United Healthcare. It can combine Medicare Parts A and B, which is your hospital and doctor coverage, with Part D prescription drug coverage and more, all in one simple plan. If you live in these North Carolina counties, this Medicare Advantage plan offers you visits to your primary care doctor for a low copay. There's more. You can get routine vision, hearing, and foot care coverage, hearing aids as low as $330 each, and preventive dental care like cleanings and x-rays for a $0 copay, plus credits to use for everyday health care products. For prescriptions, you'll pay the plan's lowest price, whether it's your copay or the pharmacy price or pay $0 for a 90-day supply of your Tier 1 and Tier 2 drugs delivered right to your door. Open enrollment begins October 15th and ends December 7th. So now is the time to call and learn more about the choice of plans we offer. For a low monthly premium, you can get United Health Passport, coverage that travels with you, an annual physical and most immunizations for a $0 copay, and see any specialist in the network without a referral. With 40 years of Medicare experience, United Healthcare offers more than great benefits. Call and see why so many Medicare beneficiaries choose plans from United Healthcare. Don't miss your opportunity. Medicare open enrollment ends December 7th. Call now and see if the benefits of an AARP Medicare Complete plan are right for you. We can be a help to state attorney's office. You let us know. Hey, what are you doing? Writing out a citation for illegal parking. This space is for police parking only. Well, I'm a deputy. Not anymore, you ain't. Not since you turned in your badge. <laughs> I, I just passed. Yeah, it's just a technicality. You'll find it in your manual. <laughs> well, <clears throat> all right. I was just trying to teach you a little lesson, son. <laughs> Don't never try to get too technical. Not when you're dealing with people. Savvy? Roger. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see you, Bob. Be sure and say hello to Ralph for us. I sure will. And, and tell him if he ever gets down this way, I'll take him frog gigging. Uh, you know, one day all the pieces will fall together, and you'll see the big picture. <laughs> see you. Tell you what, weather-wise today, feeling a lot different than it did yesterday, doesn't it? We have the clouds moving in and the temperature quite a bit warmer up into the 60s. But next up comes a little bit of that moisture we alluded to yesterday. The clouds have already built in. You see some of the warmth and some of that moisture will bring a couple of rain showers but they're mainly coming while you're sleeping tonight overnight into the early morning hours and then we're all ready for the busy travel day, aren't we? Here's your Wednesday, sunny, breezy, and not that bad. 59 degrees for your high tomorrow, and I want you to hold me to that. W for My News 2 at 5 starts right now.
CBS News cuts ties with anchor Charlie Rose. Right now at 5, new details about sexual misconduct claims against the TV icon. He owns the show. There is no human resources department in the Charlie Rose show. Uh, many of these women said that even if they wanted to file an official complaint, they wouldn't even know who to go to. Coming up, how Rose's co-anchors are holding his feet to the fire. Then we're taking a deeper look at sexual harassment in the workplace, how to spot it and how to report it. And two turkeys escape the Thanksgiving dinner table. Upon being pardoned, Drumstick and his friend Wishbone will live out their days at Gobbler's Rest. Beautiful place. Ahead, President Donald Trump's first poultry pardon at the White House. And what do dogs learn in their sleep? The study giving you a better understanding of how man's best friend thinks and behaves. WFMY News 2 at 5 starts right now. In the last few months, we've seen man after man fall from grace. Powerful men from Hollywood to politics accused of sexual misconduct. CBS This Morning anchor Charlie Rose now joins the growing list of men accused of wrongdoing. Today, CBS News fired the North Carolina native after several women accused him of sexual misconduct at his PBS interview show. PBS is also cutting ties with the iconic journalist, saying it will no longer air the Charlie Rose show. A new poll from PBS out today shows one in three women say they've sexually harassed, have been sexually harassed or abused at work. 9% of men say they've also experienced it. Two ones and knows Erica Stapleton is digging into sexual harassment and other forms of sexual, sexual misconduct. Well, sexual assault, sexual misconduct, these are words that you hear all the time. So we are taking a look at what they mean and how they are different. So we'll start here with sexual misconduct. I know the interpretations can get a little murky, but those definitions are very clear and we're going to try and clear that up for you right now. Sexual assault and sexual harassment fall under the umbrella of sexual misconduct that covers sexual behavior. The Department of Justice defines sexual assault as sexual behavior without consent of the recipient like rape or molestation and then sexual harassment is unwanted verbal or physical behavior like lewd comments or groping. The key word there is unwanted. Someone may tell the person who's harassing them to stop, um, that they don't care to be spoken to that way. Um, however, it's really the responsibility of the person who is doing the unwanted uh, talk or touch or um, behavior that should be responsible for their behavior. Katherine Johnson is the director of the Guilford County Family Justice Center. She says if a person doesn't stop after you've drawn that line, it's time to go to human resources to see what action can be taken. But what's tricky is that line can be different for different people. Johnson says you can draw the line at any point if you feel uncomfortable and your decision should be respected. Now, over the past few months since more allegations of sexual misconduct have been coming to the mainstream, Johnson says Family Justice Center has seen more people coming forward asking what their options are if they have experienced some form of sexual trauma. With sexual assault, there is no limitation of reporting. So if someone had experienced sexual violence years ago and they want to come forward and report that, they can certainly still do that. From there, claims could potentially be handled criminally or civilly if a person wants to take those routes. A person can seek counseling or support. That's something the Family Justice Center will offer. You can check our website, WFMYNews2.com, for a full list of resources. Now back to the sexual misconduct allegations against Charlie Rose. As we said earlier, CBS and PBS both fired the legendary journalist today. His co-host on CBS This Morning addressed the accusations on air. Let me be very clear. There is no excuse for this alleged behavior. This is not the man I know, but I'm also clearly on the side of the women who have been very hurt and very damaged by this. In a statement, CBS News says, quote, despite Charlie's important journalistic contribution to our news division, there is absolutely nothing more important in this or any organization than ensuring a safe professional workplace. The Washington Post published claims from eight women who all worked or wanted to work for Charlie Rose's long-running PBS program. One said he groped her breasts, two women said he walked naked in front of them, and one said he reached down her pants. I think that you can't understate you know, the level of influence and power that a man like Charlie Rose has. In a statement, Charlie Rose said, quote, I deeply apologize for my inappropriate behavior. I am greatly embarrassed. I have behaved insensitively at times, and I accept responsibility for that, though I do not believe that all of these allegations are accurate. 
President Donald Trump is breaking his silence on the Alabama Senate race. The president says the state doesn't need to send a liberal to the U.S. Senate. I can tell you, I can tell you one thing for sure. We don't need a liberal person in there, a Democrat. Jones, I've looked at his record. It's terrible in crime. It's terrible in the border. It's terrible in the military. Multiple women claim Republican Senate, uh, Senate candidate Roy Moore approached them as teenage girls. Two have accused him of assault or molestation. President Trump pointed out that Moore denies these accusations. All right, a lot of attention being paid to the weather, as is every year in the days leading up to Thanksgiving. Maybe you have a short drive, a long drive, or a plane flight. Let's get you squared away with what you need to know. Right here, right now, temperatures fairly comfortable outside as you're making your way home uh, from work and school. Upper 50s to right around 60 degrees. The clouds are here, though, and they've been increasing, just like I told you yesterday. Those clouds increasing throughout the day, and now we're starting to see just a couple of little blips on radar, mainly south into South Carolina. What's happening is that moisture feed is coming up from the ocean, so you're getting a little bit of shower activity, and I think by 8 or 9 o'clock tonight, we might actually see a couple of these showers in our neck of the woods. It's a pretty low chance to get rain, but there is some potential that maybe we see a couple of moderate to heavy rain showers setting up overnight tonight. The bigger threat from the south and eastern parts of our area, not as much of a chance of that rain in the foothills. That'll all be moving out. This is at 5 a.m. tomorrow morning. All the stuff is out of our hair, and we have a dry weather day on tap for your Wednesday. So if you're having travel plans tomorrow, you're going to be just fine. As I said, there's 6 a.m. Pretty much the only areas with rain are up and down the eastern seaboard from New York, and even those areas, they're dry out by about 11 and then that colder weather settling in for Thanksgiving Day itself. It's dry across the Midwest down to Texas, down to the Gulf Coast and even most of the eastern seaboard. The only exception will be if you're headed up to the Great Lakes, the typical snow belts might be picking up a little bit of lake effect snow the next couple of days. Overnight tonight and into tomorrow, the weather drying out after the showers get out of our hair by around 4 a.m. And let's show you the seven day forecast. The holiday forecast looks great. Hope you have a great Thanksgiving. It's just cooler out there. The high will barely sniff 50 degrees. Then we'll warm up again for the weekend. Then surprise, we're cooling down again. A man wanted in a Greensboro murder investigation turned himself into police this afternoon. Police say 20 year old Jamal Townsend was wanted for shooting and killing Brandon Fry in early October. The shooting happened at Stone's Throw Apartments. Police had issued warrants on Townsend for first degree murder and robbery with a dangerous weapon. A new poll shows just one in three North Carolina voters support President Donald Trump. A High Point University poll released today found 54% of North Carolinians do not approve of the job the president is doing. That's compared to 33% of voters who do approve. 65% of voters say the country is on the wrong track. New at five, a new ranking lists North Carolina as the top contender for the new Amazon headquarters. The CNBC ranking lists the triad as well as Raleigh and Charlotte as possible picks. The new organization says Amazon could benefit from North Carolina's strong workforce. The triad applied for the project that would bring 50,000 jobs and pump $5 billion into the local economy. Last month, Amazon said it received 238 proposals from across North America. For are in our state. The Triad, Hickory, Charlotte and Triangle area are all competing against cities across the continent. A decision is expected sometime next year. A leading North Carolina civil rights advocate will meet Pope Francis this week. Reverend William Barber will spend the Thanksgiving holiday at a Vatican conference dedicated to labor and the workers movement. That includes a meeting with Pope Francis. Barber stepped down as head of the state NAACP last month. He says he wants to focus on his new role as president of social justice organization. President Trump and First Lady Melania saved the lives of two turkeys. This was the first turkey pardoning ceremony for the president and his wife. The turkeys named Wishbone and Drumstick will gladly avoid the dinner table this Thanksgiving. Instead, the White House says the birds will live out their days at Gobbler's Rest at Virginia Tech. It's custom built. It's an enclosure on the campus of Virginia Tech. Tremendous school. There they'll join Tater and Tot, the two turkeys pardoned last year by President Obama. 
How could you forget those two? I well, turkey pardoning. I know, so cute. <laughs> turkey pardoning is a tradition at the White House. The first official turkey pardoning happened in 1989 when George H.W. Bush was president. Both pardon turkeys come from a farm in Minnesota, which happens to be the country's top turkey producer. There are 10,000 turkeys that are bred there at Red Ridge Farms. The birds love to eat corn and soybeans, and there are plenty of both in Minnesota. The farm hit the turkey jackpot when their turkeys were picked from a flock of 80 for a presidential pardon. It really comes down to just how beautiful they are. And their personality. And, and their personality, absolutely. Oh. Couple, couple. <laughs> Well, those two pardon turkeys are lucky because about 46 million turkeys are eaten every Thanksgiving here in the U.S. Tim's uh, turkey sounds over there are pretty impressive. <laughs> the Girl Scouts telling parents not to force their daughters to hug relatives over the holidays. Ahead, why the organization is focusing on personal boundaries before the holiday season. News 2 Weather Garden is sponsored by Aviation Triad. For career information, log on to aviationtriad.com. Now's the time to give the gift of tradition and save at Field & Stream, where you'll find great deals even before Black Friday, like 25% off all regular price Hornady Centerfire, Big Game, and Slug ammo. Save on Remington Gun Club shot shells and save $300 on the Field & Stream Sportsman Gun Safe. Get up to $50 in Field & Stream cash when you buy Yeti. And with our best price guarantee, if you find a lower price somewhere else, we'll match it. Where traditions begin, Field & Stream. Your mobile phone eavesdropping on your personal conversations. Sounds crazy, but... Phones are really snitches in their pockets. What, if anything, can be done about phone spying? Tonight at 11 on WFMY News 2. Are you one of the millions of Americans suffering from chronic knee pain, arthritis, or osteoarthritis of the knee? Have you been told you might need knee replacement surgery? If so, then pick up the phone and call the Flexigenics Clinic to see if you qualify for Knee Flex 5, a new breakthrough treatment that's helping thousands find relief from knee pain without drugs and without surgery. Knee Flex 5 uses a natural lubricant that the healthy joints in your body produce every day. The all natural lubricant is introduced into the knee joint where it coats and protects the cartilage surface, helping it to move smoothly once again. KneeFlex 5 is approved by Medicare and many other primary and supplemental health plans and is considered by many to be the first major breakthrough for relieving knee pain in years. So if you're tired of living with knee pain, call the Flexigenics Clinic right now and learn more about KneeFlex 5. Flexigenics Clinic, the leader in non-surgical knee pain relief. Really? Wow, you look tired. I got up at 3 a.m. for Black Friday, but I saved hundreds. How'd you make out? I slept in. Still got a great deal. Oh. Get something you really want during the GMC Acadia Black Friday event. Get 15% below MSRP on all 2017 Acadia SLT models. That's over $6,700 on this GMC Acadia. See your Piedmont Triad GMC dealer. All of the triad, all of the news, always WFMY News 2 at 5 p.m. This holiday season, the Girl Scouts is stressing the importance of setting boundaries and a post titled reminder she doesn't owe anyone a hug, not even at the holidays. The organization says parents should not force their kids to hug relatives. The post says, quote, telling your child that she owes someone a hug either just because she hasn't seen this person in a while or because they gave her a gift can set the stage for her questioning whether she owes another person any type of physical affection when they've bought her dinner or or done something else seemingly nice for her later in life. Right now, we want to hear from you on WFMY.com slash vote now. We're asking at what age do you start teaching kids about personal boundaries? Preschool, elementary school, middle school, high school, or haven't had that talk? You can also vote with the WFMY News 2 app. And as you vote, WFMY News 2's contributing editor Blanca Cobb joins Julie with her take on the new Girl Scouts message. So Blanca, you listen to the Girl Scouts stance. Why is it okay for girls 
girls to say no to hugging because it's their body and they set up their own boundaries and it has huge implications like because as a parent you focus too much on how it's going to hurt somebody else's feelings instead of the message to your daughter when you make your daughter hug somebody or give a kiss to somebody that they don't want to what are you saying you're saying that you don't have a voice you're saying that your no doesn't matter and that has huge implications when you're talking about dating later on and workplace sexual harassment so talking about setting the stage here so let's talk about Thanksgiving dinner yeah. everyone's gathered at a house, mm -hmm. right? And there's that awkward moment. If you say no, feelings could get hurt. So what do you do to avoid feelings getting hurt? Well, you can have a conversation. And so what you can do is you can pull family members aside and say, this is what we're teaching our daughter. We're teaching her how to be assertive. We're setting up boundaries. Don't take this personally, but we need your support. And what family member is gonna go, oh my gosh, are you serious? Why are you teaching your daughter this? But there are other methods, right? You don't have to hug. You can do the high five. There's you can do a high do. five. You can do a fist bump. I mean, you can do a handshake. You can say a hello and wave, smile. Or you can do something special between you and that person. You know, whether it's a, you know, whatever it is. Or, or whatever, some something. A little house, dance. Some absolutely. Kind of inside yes. something personal there. That could be so, significant between the child, your daughter, and that family member. So you're not shunning that person. You just exactly. find another way to acknowledge this person. Absolutely. What about parents? What do parents need to do to support their daughters? Parents should have a conversation in private with their daughters and find out what's going on. Maybe there's some miscommunication between them and that particular family member, but also say it's okay for you to say no, do some role playing, examples that I just gave, and then also if the relative's like, oh, come on, it's just Uncle Jack, give me a hug, and your daughter says no, then as a parent you have to say, she said no, but she's willing to give you a fist bump. There you go. So yep. being supportive and understanding as well. Okay, you can keep the conversation going on Blanca's Facebook page. You can search for Blanca, just search for Blanca Cobb, body language expert. Tonight at 5.30, almost all of us will do our holiday shopping, or at least some of it, online. So we're going to show you how to avoid the online shopping scams. Plus, you go to a restaurant, right, and you ask them specifically if the dish has a certain ingredient in it. Maybe you're allergic to it, or maybe it just doesn't agree with you. They say no, and then you find it later on in the dish after you're already eating it. All right, that's not good. There's a mini food tester, really. You can bring it with you, how it works, and how it tests to see what ingredients are actually in the dish. This year about to eat at 5 30. Get to Cox Toyota for their $1,000 test drive. Did you know that your crawl space is a breeding ground for mold, bugs, and critters? Our clean space system will transform your crawl space into a dry, healthy, clean environment. Call Tar Heel Basement Systems today for all things basementy. Right now, during the Rooms to Go holiday sale, save on great looking furniture like this. Just $699 or $12 a month, interest free. That's right, only $699 or $12 a month with no interest for 60 months. Now, during the Rooms to Go holiday sale. Belk's Black Friday sale is almost here. Over 400 doorbusters starting Thursday at 4. We're giving away a million dollars in gift cards with a thousand dollar winner per store. Friday, there's another million dollar giveaway. You could win up to $250. Buy one, get two free Kim Rogers. Up to 60% off toys. $19.99 Rampage shoes. New Estee Lauder holiday gift set. Plus earn $15 Belk bucks. Shop early online. Go home for the holidays with Belk. A gift is more than what's under its wrapping. It's the wonder of what it could be and the possibility of what's inside. A gift lets us dream a little. This holiday season, give the gift of a dream. I'm Pete from Tar Heel Basement Systems. Do you have cracked or bowing basement walls? Are your doors and windows hard to open? Our foundation support systems come with a lifetime warranty so you can rest easy knowing your foundation is fixed for good.
All right, so we talked about the travel forecast a little bit. Let me just elaborate on today because today pretty remarkable. We were cloudy for a good chunk of the heating of the day as those clouds built into the area, but we still got pretty warm. I want to share with you some of our weather spot reports from your neighborhoods across the region. How about James up in Reedsville? About 64 for him up in Wentworth uh, for another James 63 up that way. Lawsonville at Dwayne's house 59 uh, 59 for Bill in Pine Hall 54. One of our newest weather spotters Gerald Hicks up that way. Keith Puckett up in Patrick Springs, Virginia 50. Same thing for Ryan and Pop Town 64 down in Jackson Hill. That's the southern part of Davidson County at June's house. Here's some of the highlights I'm tracking through the Thanksgiving holiday and beyond a small rain chance tonight into tomorrow morning, and then it just dries out. So you're dry clear as a bell for travel on Wednesday on Thanksgiving Day as well. Now another cold blast is set to arrive. I have forecast high temperatures in the 40s once we get into Sunday, but not really until then. So all systems pretty much go again. A better look at tomorrow. The only thing I'd be a little worried about maybe in areas of patchy fog if you're really hitting the road early tomorrow morning before sunrise, but that'll go away pretty fast. We'll have a high temperature tomorrow right about 59 degrees. A 12 year old girl is on a mission. She's spearheading a campaign to legalize medical marijuana across the entire country. Alexis Bortel says she and her family had no choice but to move from their Texas home to Colorado to treat her severe epilepsy. Now her family and a handful of others are suing Attorney General Jeff Sessions and the Drug Enforcement Administration. They're demanding cannabis for the treatment of their illnesses, diseases and medical conditions. Alexis hopes the lawsuit will make medical marijuana legal across the country. Do you think it's unfair that this medicine is not available to everybody in the United States? I think it's really unfair because I feel like they're basically punishing us because we're sick. But some medical experts aren't sure. Jacqueline French works for the Epilepsy Foundation. We really need more research to find out what's helping, what's hurting, whether people should opt for this over some other options that they may have. Meantime, Alexis has turned her epilepsy into her cause, making soap and donating the proceeds to charity. She's even writing a book. Medical marijuana is now legal in 29 states and D.C., but it's not legal here in North Carolina. Medical marijuana bills were introduced in the North Carolina legislature this year, but never became law. Today, the White House is unveiling new economic sanctions against North Korea. President Donald Trump says the sanctions will be the most severe ever imposed on the rogue nation. As CBS News' Mola Lange reports, the announcement comes a day after North Korea was added to a U.S. list of state sponsors of terrorism. The White House continues to ramp up the pressure on North Korea. Today, the Treasury Department is announcing a new round of sanctions against Pyongyang. The move comes a day after President Trump designated the country a state sponsor of terrorism. Our maximum pressure campaign to isolate the murderous regime. It's been more than 60 days since Kim Jong-un's regime conducted any missile tests or launches. Mr. Trump said its weapons program was only one factor in the decision. In addition to threatening the world by nuclear devastation, North Korea has repeatedly supported acts of international terrorism, including assassinations on foreign soil. The president cited the case of Kim's half-brother, who was assassinated when two women smeared poison on his face at an airport in Malaysia. As we take this action today, our thoughts turn to Otto Warmbier, wonderful young man. The president also noted the death of Otto Warmbier, an American college student who died after being held at a North Korean labor camp. The leaders of South Korea, Japan, and Australia welcomed the U.S. sanctions, but China's foreign minister wasn't as enthusiastic. He said the moves would make Kim less open to denuclearization talks. Mola Lenghi, CBS News, the White House. Coming up, praise treats repetition. That's how you're supposed to train your dog. But should it really be that difficult? Why sleeping might be the best way for your dog to learn. Expect more. more. Get more. 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 Stearns Ford. On this team, solving the case means breaking some rules. Federal agents! I'm trying to save kids. New NCIS New Orleans CBS tonight. We're going to change things together. Look at this team. Look at us. 
We are the change that counts. New SWAT, CBS Thursday, or stream it live or on demand. An extraordinary event for the whole family. The Craftsman's Christmas Classic, this Friday through Sunday, Greensboro Coliseum. Hundreds of artists and craftsmen. Fabulous gifts, decorations, seasonal treats just for you. Details, savings at christmasclassic.com. Lowe's Foods presents Tanglewood Park's Festival of Lights, celebrating our 26th year. Festival of Lights is sure to brighten your holidays with new displays as well as family favorites. Don't forget to visit the Gift Village with special activities, Santa Claus, concessions, and of course, the gift shop. Join us this season at Tanglewood Park's Festival of Lights, open nightly November 17th through January 1st. Founded 43 years ago by one man, now with a team larger than ever by his side. At John's Plumbing, Heating and Air, we're certified trained comfort specialists as well as plumbing experts and provide the best in water purification. Always there when you need us with a commitment to quality service at a fair price. We are John's Plumbing, Heating and Air and Dr. John's H2O, a family business. Call 24-7 or save $20 when you request service online at gojohns.com. Come in now to Crossroads Ford and Kernersville for the Black Friday year-end sales event going on right now with our biggest discounts and biggest savings, giving you the best prices in the triad. New 2018 F-150 XLTs take up to $10,000 off. That's right, 2018s, or take up to $14,000 off remaining new 2017 F-150s. So come see us today for great selection, outstanding customer service, and the best prices only at Crossroads Ford and Kernersville. Celebrate the season. The one and only Craftsman's Christmas Classic this Friday through Sunday, Greensboro Coliseum. The Triad's favorite holiday tradition with choices for every style, taste, and budget. See what's new. Save big at christmasclassic.com. Don't miss it. Dogs can be lazy, and my fuzzy Cocker Spaniel Lambert is no exception. Most dogs sleep about 12 to 14 hours a day, including Lammy, and it's a good thing, and here's why. A new study says they actually learn while they sleep. Well, it turns out the findings could help researchers better understand how man's best friend thinks, behaves, and ages. Camilla is one of 15 dogs in Hungary being trained in English instead of Hungarian. Researchers are testing to see if she can learn and retain commands while she sleeps. Scientists hooked electrodes onto Camilla, and as she slept, they measured electrical movement in her brain. They focused on the brief bursts of brain activity known as sleep spindles. The movements last up to five seconds and are known to support memory and learning. Well, the study found the more bursts of brain activity per minute, the more the dog learns their English commands. Female dogs have twice as many sleep spindles as males and are better learners and memorize tasks more efficiently. The study also looked at how a dog's memory changes with age. The team says up to two thirds of dogs ages 15 to 16 show signs of dementia, including getting lost, apathy and irritability. This dementia is really and very similar in a lot of aspects to that of humans. So we could use dogs as a natural model of human aging. Researchers are sharing their discoveries. They set up a dog brain and tissue bank to share samples of aging and other diseases with scientists around the world. Get the James Scott Farron Advantage. Call on the Hurt Line right now. Are you getting the best deal on that new Honda? Are you sure? Before you sign on the bottom line, hurry to Van York Honda for the Happy Honda Day sales event. 2017 Civics, $129 a month. 2017 Accords, $139 a month. Be sure to shop Van York Honda in High Point. Hi folks, I'm Erica Gleason Coakley. And I'm Chad Gleason here with Roofing Pro. We're excited to announce our lifetime roof for $99 a month. Call today. The first 25 callers receive free ridge vent. Want to save energy this winter? Purchase windows for your entire home for $99 a month. Call today. The first 25 callers receive free wrapping of your casing. We also offer no payment and no interest for one year. Call us today or visit us at roofing-pro.com and let us earn your business. 
It's our first Black Friday silent sales event at Cox Toyota in Burlington. You're invited. Cox Toyota will be closed on Thanksgiving Day, but our Black Friday tags will be on every vehicle on the lot. After the turkey, stop by Cox Toyota. Look around. No salespeople, no haggling. Find the newer used vehicle you want and take a picture of the tag. Come back early Black Friday morning. Doors open at 7. The price in your picture is the price of that vehicle. Plus, the first 10 new cars sold on Black Friday will come with a brand new TV. So before you buy, give Cox a try. Something's happening here. Groundbreaking research, discovering molecules that kill cancer cells, T-cell generation that could treat MS, breakthroughs in particle laser physics, top programs graduating business leaders, teachers, nurses, physicians, dentists, and healthcare specialists. If you're thinking this only happens at great national universities, you're right, this is ECU. America's next great national university. It's here, Badcock's Black Friday Super Sale. Get up to half off. Plus, Black Friday only, get an extra 10% off your entire purchase. That's up to half off bedrooms, up to half off mattress sets. Save hundreds on sofas, and save hundreds on power recliners, dining rooms, and electric fireplaces. And get 24 months interest free. With no credit refused, Badcock makes it easy. Get to Badcock's Black Friday Super Sale for up to half off. Plus, Black Friday only save an extra 10%. At Van Nor Toyota, Toyotathon is the time to get your best year-end deal, and we'll do whatever it takes. More for your trade, whatever it takes. Lower payments, whatever it takes. Save with huge Toyotathon discounts on over 900 available new Toyotas. See Van Nor Toyota, whatever it takes. Welcome back. Hold me to it, time, and I tell you. November weather changing all the time makes it pretty hard for us to really nail down those details. Today I wanted to show you the sky right off the bat. Notice the clouds moving and it's always neat to see them just like that, especially as we enter the twilight time frame. It's mostly cloudy now. I'm actually getting a couple of sprinkles here in the weather garden right now. We do expect more rain showers to build in over the next couple of hours. 50s for highs in the foothills this afternoon. Mid 60s though, Burlington 64, 63 in Ashboro, and that fits the pattern of many of our weather spotters as well. They show their reports in the 60s to the south and east where there was a little bit more sun and a little cooler up in the foothills. Want to give a shout out to Gerald Hicks, one of our newer weather watchers up that way. He's up in Mount Airy, woke up to an early morning low at 31 and by the middle of the afternoon he was up to 54 with some of those clouds increasing. My forecast for today, not good enough though. Look at that, 57 is what I was expecting as the clouds moved into the area. We got up to 62. That's five degrees above my forecast. That's just not good enough. So an extra on the board for today. We'll try again for a green check tomorrow. Looking at future cast, expecting some rain. So plan on this. If you're out and about the next couple of hours, bring along the rain gear just in case. I don't think it's much, but there will be some showers developing. And in fact, we could see most of the area covered at one point tonight. So this could overperform a little bit. Be prepared. Talked about the rain chance yesterday, and I still think it makes a lot of sense. Early morning, maybe a little bit of patchy fog for you, but the rain is gone for Wednesday. We'll call for a high of 59 degrees, sunshine, breezy, no travel trouble. I guarantee that for tomorrow. There's your colder air, though. Start to build in by Thanksgiving Day itself. I'll leave you with the seven day forecast heading into tomorrow a little milder, but much cooler heading into Thursday 50 for that high temperature will warm up again Black Friday and into Saturday. A suicide bomber in Nigeria killed at least 50 people today during during morning prayer It's the latest of many attacks across the globe. Yeah, and in May, a suicide bomber, of course, killed 22 people at an Ariana Grande concert in Manchester. And we really can't forget about the Boston Marathon bombing in 2013. The bombs there exploded just seconds apart, right near the finish line, killing three people, injuring and changing the lives of hundreds of others. So what do you do to stop them? That's the mm -hmm. question we'd all like answered. And a couple in Minnesota think they're on track to doing that. Hey, focus. Find it. Backstage before a country music concert, Henry and his German shepherd, Rexo, are on the hunt for a hidden ticking time bomb. Hey, nice check. In a venue like this, one of the threats could be an explosive device. The search is a precautionary measure at the Treasure Island Casino in Welch, Minnesota. Okay. And these canine troops are the centerpiece of a detection company called Dogs for Defense. We started overseas, and so many of our dogs have worked in Iraq and Afghanistan. And now we have dogs working here at amusement parks and shopping malls and um, 
houses of worship. Dan and Kristen Hughes launched the business in 2007 with one dog. They now have more than 20 in nine states. This is the training warehouse where their extraordinary sense of smell and their love for working are put to the test. The pipe bomb is often created with either a smokeless powder or a black powder. Like the one we have right here? Yes. During exercises, that powder is hidden in cinder blocks and paint cans, and dogs like Lori are trained to sit as soon as they smell it. Their reward is their toy. Yes. Dan is a former Secret Service agent who helped save lives on 9-11. I felt, uh, you know, surviving September 11th like I did, that my pursuit from then on should be meaningful. This is Rexo. Back at the casino, fortunately this time the coast is clear as these canine teams work to stop the next tragedy before it happens. Kenneth Craig, CBS News, Welch, Minnesota. And shortly after the bombing at the Ariana Grande concert, PNC Arena in Raleigh added bomb sniffing dogs to the venue. K2 Solutions, a company based in our state, brought in dogs for many events there this fall. The holidays mean a whole lot of family time. We're talking aunts and uncles, cousins that you see like once a year. And when they reach in for a hug with your kid, well, your kid may look like that. A little apprehensive, a little scared. Girl Scouts of America recently released a recommendation to parents. Hey, don't force your kids to give strange relatives hugs. The developmental psychologist with the Girl Scouts says letting girls decide when and how to show affection, even to family members, can help them set physical boundaries as they get older. Well, now that you've heard their reasoning, we kind of wanted to know what age do you start teaching your kids about that personal, physical boundary? You can tell us by going to WFMY.com slash vote now. Folks have been voting on this since our 5 o'clock newscast, and right now most of them are saying between either preschool or elementary school is when they teach their kids about those boundaries. We're going to check those results again at 6. Spending time with family can be stressful around the holidays, dividing up who's bringing what, especially when people have food allergies. Well, this device claims it can detect gluten and other types of allergy, allergens in your food. But does it really work? We're looking into it next. News 2 Weather Garden is sponsored by Aviation Triad. For career information, log on to aviationtriad.com. Now's the time to give the gift of tradition and save at Field & Stream, where you'll find great deals even before Black Friday. Like 25% off all regular price Hornady Centerfire, Big Game, and Slug Ammo. Save on Remington Gun Club shot shells. And save $300 on the Field & Stream Sportsman Gun Safe. Get up to $50 in Field & Stream cash when you buy Yeti. And with our best price guarantee, if you find a lower price somewhere else, we'll match it. Where traditions begin. Field & Stream. It's Toyotathon time at Rice Toyota, which means thousands in savings and 0% financing on almost our entire selection of Toyotas. And with the Rice Advantage, every sale comes with a lifetime limited powertrain warranty, plus our above and beyond service that includes car washes, loaner cars, and valuable rewards points. Toyotathon savings for the best deals and our Rice Advantage for VIP service after the sale. It all adds up to the perfect time to buy right now at Rice Toyota. Hey. Is this enough? And a little more. There you go. There's no more room. Oh, look who's here. Oh, my God. I know I had one more. Hmm. More. How's it looking? 20 more minutes. Eight, nine. We need one more. Enjoy. We need more rolls. There was a little girl. She became friends with every animal she met. It's getting late. Grandma should go. One more. In the end, all we really need more of is each other. Happy Thanksgiving from Publix, where shopping is a pleasure.
let's take a tour of the plate. It looks really good. Oh, yeah. And while you know what's in most of that stuff, a lot of people like to use secret ingredients or spices. So how do you know what's really in it all? Mm, well, there is a device that's about, well, our shrunken <laughs> size that allows you to scan what's on the plate, figure out what the ingredients really are. Let's see how this food tester works and if it's worth it for you. Jolene Warren was diagnosed with celiac disease about a year ago. I had severe anemia and uh, my red blood count was terrible. Celiac is an autoimmune disease triggered by gluten found in wheat, barley and rye. It's commonly controlled through a strict diet. Food was my social activity and since then I eat as much as I can at home because that's my safe spot. But now this pocket sized gluten detector is helping her to eat out more and worry less. The device from Nema Labs scans a sample of food placed in a disposable capsule. Got a happy face. All right. A smile shows it's safe. A wheat icon means gluten was detected. NEMA researchers are now creating devices for other common food allergies. We're developing a test for peanut, for dairy, for tree nut, eventually anything you care about. We want to give you that instant information in the palm of your hand. Still, NEMA admits it's not a 100% guarantee. While the tested sample may be safe, that doesn't mean the entire meal is gluten free. Dietitian Emily Luxford thinks the technology is helpful, but worries users may become too dependent. So they don't know how to use the proper tools of asking questions and communicating with restaurants or reading labels, and then they feel like they can't actually make a choice without a device. Jolene uses her detector at least two to four times a week. I don't go anywhere without my tester to make sure that I'm safe. An added layer of security helping her cope with her condition. And one more note on this, the device does not require FDA approval, so it doesn't have to meet any kind of government guidelines for what it measures. It costs about $300 and each single use capsule runs about $5. Here's the question, how much is enough to save for retirement for you, to save for college, for the kid? Let's take retirement first. Enough is usually about 10 to 15 percent of your yearly income every single year. And when it comes to college, we found a Fidelity Investments recommendation on DontWasteYourMoney.com. And what it does is it multiplies your child's age by $2,000. When you do that, that gives you how much money you should have saved so so far if you want to just cover half the cost of public college for four years. So how do you do that? I mean, how do you save? Duh, the answer is you save, right? Okay, but let's physically talk about how do you save. So don'twasteyourmoney.com had this idea. They said turn your debt into savings. So let's say you've been making all of your payments for your car payment, right? You've been stuffing all the money in here and your student loans and that kind of stuff, and then they're paid up. So what do you do? You keep paying the debt amount you just put it in the other box. So the retirement gets it or the college fund gets it. You keep on saving. Avoiding getting scammed during the holidays by not clicking on links in emails or social media. Instead, go to the retailer's website directly and double check the URL. How to tell a real from a fake website coming up. All right, so we just talked a little bit about what keeps you from saving some money or how to better save some money. The answer to why some people don't save money has nothing to do with money at all. We're going to explain the top money fears and how to get over them ahead on Two Wants to Know. Your mobile phone eavesdropping on your personal conversations. Sounds crazy, but... Phones are really snitches in their pockets. What, if anything, can be done about phone spying? Tonight at 11 on WFMY News 2. Don't miss the Super Flea Market this Friday through Sunday. Thousands of items at discount prices, new and used, vintage and collectible. Free admission, Friday and Saturday 9 to 5, Sunday 10 to 4 at the Greensboro Coliseum Special Event Center. It's our first Black Friday silent sales event at Cox Toyota in Burlington. Cox Toyota will be closed Thanksgiving Day, but our Black Friday tags will be on every vehicle on the lot. Take a picture, and that's the price you'll pay on Black Friday. So before you buy, give Cox a try. A gift is more than what's under its wrapping. It's the wonder of what it could be and the possibility of what's inside. A gift lets us dream a little. 
This holiday season, give the gift of a dream. Belk's Black Friday sale is almost here. Over 400 doorbusters starting Thursday at 4. We're giving away a million dollars in gift cards with a thousand dollar winner per store. Friday, there's another million dollar giveaway. You could win up to $250. Buy one, get two free Kim Rogers. Up to 60% off toys. $19.99 Rampage shoes. New Estee Lauder holiday gift set. Plus, earn $15 Belk bucks. Shop early online. Go home for the holidays with Belk. <laughs> At Badcock, no credit refused isn't just an offer. It's a way of business and has been for over 100 years. No banks, no ridiculous credit requirements. Just local Badcock store owners who treat you right and give you credit when others won't. It's never been easier to express your style and love your home. SharperImage.com has thousands of one-of-a-kind fun gift ideas this holiday for all the special people in your life. Gifts they'll love. Gifts that make smiles. Gifts that make memories. SharperImage.com is one-stop shopping for everyone on your holiday gift list. Go to SharperImage.com today and get a 20% cashback coupon on all your purchases. Don't miss the Super Flea Market this Friday through Sunday. Thousands of items at discount prices, new and used, vintage and collectible. Free admission, Friday and Saturday 9 to 5, Sunday 10 to 4 at the Greensboro Coliseum Special Events Center. All of the triad, all of the news, always two wants to know at 5.30. You know, it used to be if you heard someone talking about spotting fakes, it was these big fake $100 bills that we use as props. But Chad, nowadays it's fake websites. Oh yeah, and the scammers, they are making it difficult to tell which is real and which is fake. They're using the company's name in the website. Take a look at these sites. The real website is Target.com. So the fake one, TargetHome.Today. Yeah, Target does have a home section, but its website is, but this website is not real. It's not going to end in dot today. Now, this is just one example of a phishing scam. If you click on any link from an email or other source, check the search bar. You need to see on the website that it starts with HTTPS. So this S means that the site is secure. And if you can see this, just know this site is not safe and X out of it. There are plenty of other ways to protect yourself when buying something online. Kim Russo bought her favorite insulated cups as gifts in August. She found a deal on a Facebook ad, but so far, no cups. And the cost? $140. Before you buy from a site you've never heard of, do some research. A good place to start is the Better Business Bureau, where you can note any complaints. The BBB also says to use extreme caution when ordering from a company whose existence can't be verified, as may have been the case with Kim. There is no way to get in touch with them. There's no phone number. There's no mailing address. Another problem, make sure you can find contact information. You should also check online user reviews. Type the name of the company and keywords review and complaint. This sports gear company, for instance, has several customers who claim they received knockoffs. Also, be careful when making purchases on Craigslist or other virtual bulletin boards. The key to trust here is buy local. Craigslist says to never send money to someone you haven't met and arrange any meetings in a public place. For instance, in some towns and cities, the police designate a safe zone for such transactions. And many Triad Police Departments offer these safe transaction zones, including Greensboro, Burlington, and High Point. It's estimated that 164 million people are going to shop this Thanksgiving weekend. Many people are going to be doing it online, but still a lot of you like to go to actual stores. So tonight deal guy Matt Granite is taking a look at deals found in line in the store where Target and Amazon as well. Chad, you've got the deets on the deals. Yeah, these are the gifts he says that you can should consider buying right now. So this hoverboard handles up to 330 pounds and has a safety feature to make it stop when you step off of it. He also found this surveillance camera with night vision and the Amazon Echo is at its lowest price. Now let's see what Matt found at Target. 
I've been working on Black Friday since this past March, hunting down every deal, testing all the products, and with many of you asking specific questions about stores, I want to share with you right now just a few of the top offerings from Target. Keep in mind for Best Buy, Amazon, Walmart, and all of those insider secret deals online, I have your full coverage on our website. If you're looking for an iPhone 8 or iPhone Plus with a free $250 Target gift card for 24 month contracts, that's one of the top offerings at Target this year alongside a 65 inch Samsung 4K Smart TV for $849. You're saving $300 on that. Google Home is $79, but Amazon will have better deals, in my opinion, tied to the Echo. Google Home Mini for $29 is a great grab with a free $10 gift card and a 55 inch Smart 4K TV for $249 is in my top 10 list. My full list of the top 10 Black Friday deals at Target on our website until we meet again. Happy savings, happy almost Black Friday. Back to you. All right, in case you missed it, about a thousand Reese's were passed out across the triad yesterday. It was part of our to be sweet day. We gave people around the triad two Reese's, one for them, one to give to someone else. We want to thank everyone who helped us spread the kindness and the sweetness yesterday. And that's really what this time of year is all about. It's about giving kindness, giving to somebody else. Well, this Greensboro police officer right here gave her second piece of candy to a young boy that was downtown and gave him a high five. Hey, when you give someone your other Reese's, we want you to snap a picture and tweet it to us using the hashtag to be sweet. And Tim Buckley continues to be sweet to us because the weather today really not that bad. Not too bad, Chad. You know, we got up into the 60s, which actually I was a little surprised by. I thought we'd be right there in the upper 50s today, a little warmer than that. And right now we're starting to see that moisture kind of follow suit. The clouds have already moved in and now the radar is lighting up at least a little bit. Let's look to the south here. You're seeing some of these showers kind of build into South Carolina. It's flickering a little bit, but there you have it. That rain pushing into places like Columbia and eventually into Charlotte too. Even here in the Weather Garden, I caught a couple of sprinkles just a little bit ago and confirming it. There are just a couple of these sprinkles in Guilford County. No big deal. But later on this evening, it could become a bit more significant. Watch Futurecast here. I think that we'll see some of these showers turn in a little bit stronger as we head into around 11 o'clock, midnight or so, and even the early morning hours. Some of these could in fact be pretty impressive, so we'll see a good chance at some showers moving in, mainly while you're sleeping tonight. Now there could come a little bit of patchy fog along with that reduced visibility pretty likely through about 7 a.m. But once we get into the daytime tomorrow, we're just fine. Mid 40s here, mid to upper 50s for those highs, a good amount of sunshine to go along with your busy travel Wednesday, and that's a good thing. Okay, get ready for this. I'm about to ask Tim and Chad a question, and I think they're going to answer it the way that you're going to answer it at home. In fact, I'm almost 100% positive. You ready? Hey, Tim and Chad, I have a question for you. Mm -hmm. What is the most famous breakup line? It's, it's not, not you, you it's, it's me. me. That's right. It's not you, it's me. It's pretty classic. Either we've all said it or we've all heard it, and it could also describe the reason why financial planners are so hard to talk to. 92% of people say that they're interested in, in learning more about financial markets and, and financial planning. However, only 47% are comfortable talking about it with a professional. So I think a lot of that falls on the shoulders of the, of the financial professionals out there, not educating investors or, or coming across as too elite to really help the, your average person. See, it's not you, it is them. According to Fidelity, eight out of 10 people say they refrain from having conversations about finances, but hearing certified financial planner Matt Logan put the blame on the investors, well, maybe that makes you feel a little bit better. As my dad says, you know what, those investors are just people. They put their pants on the same way. So how do you get started? Because you should, it is your money after all. So one of the easiest things to do is to talk to your employer benefits person about 401ks. It is your workplace. Yes, ask the questions or simply go to your bank or credit union and start asking questions about maybe a Roth IRA. Just get your foot in the door and ask for one information meeting. Option three, ask a friend if they have a financial advisor that they go to and go in for a simple information meeting. Really, this is just getting the conversation started.
Oh, he's not Buddy the Elf, but the Evergreen Elf, oh, he might be your best friend this Christmas. He's supposed to tell you when your tree needs water. So does he work? We start our two tests next. Your mobile phone eavesdropping on your personal conversations. Sounds crazy, but... Phones are really snitches in their pockets. Out of nowhere, ads pop up on your phone for things you've never searched for, just chatted about. Well, your phone is always transmitting, it's always phoning home, it's always, it's always connected to the internet. What, if anything, can be done about phone spying? Tonight at 11 on WFMY News 2. It's the Black Friday year-end sales event going on right now at Crossroads Ford and Kernersville. So come in now for our biggest discounts and biggest savings of the year, giving you the best prices in the triad. New 2017 Explorers take up to $7,500 off. And new 2017 Escapes take up to $7,000 off. And new 2017 Fusions take up to $7,000 off. So come see us today for great selection, outstanding customer service, and the best prices only at Crossroads Ford and Kernersville. To those with diabetes, mealtime is really time to think about insulin. When do I prepare? Where do I inject? But Afreza lets you inhale your insulin when food arrives, even unexpectedly. So you can be spontaneous and not rely solely on injections. Afreza is a rapid-acting inhaled insulin used to control adult diabetes. Afreza can cause serious side effects, including sudden lung problems and low potassium. Afreza is not for patients with chronic lung disease, such as asthma or COPD. Tell your doctor if you smoke, recently stopped smoking, have ever had kidney or liver problems, a history of lung cancer, or if you are pregnant or breastfeeding. Most common side effects are low blood sugar, cough, and sore throat. Severe low blood sugar can be fatal. Do not replace long-acting insulin with Afreza. Afreza is not for use to treat diabetic ketoacidosis. Do not take Afreza if you are allergic to insulin. Get some dessert. Talk to your doctor before changing your Afreza dose. Blood sugar may need to be checked more frequently. Ask your doctor if Afreza inhalable insulin is right for you. Right now during the Rooms to Go holiday sale, it's back. Our 100 month interest free finance offer on Tempur-Pedic, the most highly recommended bed in America. The perfect reason to buy your new Tempur-Pedic mattress at Rooms to Go, a store you can trust. Our selection is amazing. And with 100 month interest free financing, payments start as low as $20 a month. So shop and compare. Then buy any of our Tempur-Pedic mattress sets with low interest free monthly payments. Right now at Rooms to Go. It's our first Black Friday silent sales event at Cox Toyota in Burlington. You are invited. Cox Toyota will be closed on Thanksgiving Day, but our Black Friday tags will be on every vehicle on the lot. After the turkey, stop by Cox Toyota. Look around. No salespeople, no haggling. Find the newer used vehicle you want and take a picture of the tag. Come back early Black Friday morning. Doors open at 7. The price in your picture is the price of that vehicle. Plus, the first 10 new cars sold on Black Friday will come with a brand new TV. So before you buy, give Cox a try. You ready for this two test? Because it means another voice in your house. Evergreen Elf here. Evergreen Elf here. Yup, the Evergreen Elf talks to you. The product claims to keep your Christmas tree fresher longer, reduces the risk of fires, and works with all tree stands. How? You fill your Christmas tree stand with water, you hang the Evergreen Elf on the stand, and you put the sensor in the water. You can adjust it as high or as low as you want it. When the water gets low, he tells you. Out of water. <laughs> yep, that's how he sounds. Out of water. Out of water. I've been saying it all day. All right, so that's how the Evergreen Elf is supposed to work. Yeah, but of course, to put it to the two test, you really have to have a real tree Hands to see. Tree, yes. So here we are. All right, so here's the Evergreen Elf. You can see him here at the bottom of our tree on the tree stand. It's supposed to be a solution because refilling the tree is a pain. You got to move the presents out of the way. And if you forget, it means a brown tree. Yeah, so for the next week or so, we will test this out and let you know if it's worth your money, which is $23. Yeah, and fun fact here, this product product was made by a guy in Winston-Salem. So we're going to test it and we'll get back to you. In the meantime, WFMY News 2 at 6 starts right now. Oh, the calm before the storm. About this time tomorrow, these highways are going to be really, really busy. And you know why. Nearly mm -hmm. 51 million people are expected to travel for the Thanksgiving holiday. That is the highest number in more than a decade. And they want the drive to be problem-free. Mm -hmm. Our chief meteorologist, Tim Buckley, is here now. 
All right, Tim, what's it looking like? Yeah, we're watching this so closely. I asked folks on my Facebook page earlier today. Are you driving a little way, a long way? Most of them said, yeah, we're getting out of town and we're leaving tomorrow. So what's the weather like? Here you go right now sitting fairly mild outside. Temperatures even at the six o'clock hour sitting in the upper 50s for the most part, upper 60s, I should say in some areas looking at cloud cover pretty thick. The clouds have moved in as expected and here comes the second part of the equation. This is nine o'clock tonight on our futurecast model. Notice it's putting at least a couple of showers in the area and might be a little bit overdone, but I do think we have a good chance to see a couple of these showers setting up while we're sleeping tonight. So the roadways tonight, they'll be fairly wet, but here's three in the morning and here's five in the morning. Notice we have cleared out completely just in time to get your Wednesday started. So unless you're planning to drive through the night or something like that this evening, you're going to have dry travel, not just here in the Carolinas, but pretty much the entire surrounding area. One thing I might watch for is a little bit of patchy fog in the early morning. Other than that, the sun shines out. We get up to about 58 degrees tomorrow. Here's a quick look up and down the East Coast. Look at Wednesday afternoon. It's pretty much smooth sailing and about a 12 state radius. OK, before you get into the car tomorrow, make sure you know the cheapest places to fill up. Gas prices are higher in the triad than they were this time last year, but we're making it easy to find the lowest prices in your neighborhood. Just go to WFMYNews2.com, click on the traffic tab, and then on the interactive gas guide. An update now on a story we first brought you last night on WFMY News 2 at 11. Rockingham County Schools announced two elementary schools are closing, but parents still don't know where their kids will be going next school year. Well, the school board voted to close Dillard and Draper Elementary Schools, but haven't voted on a plan for where the students will be moved. WFMY News 2's Jessica Mench is live now in Rockingham County, explaining what the decision means for parents as well as students, Jess. Yeah, Julie, Sandra, the superintendent tells me right around 45% of this school is full. He says with numbers like those, it just doesn't make financial sense to keep these schools running. Come fall, the playground at Draper Elementary will empty. And it makes no sense to uproot them from their home. The kids gone from the building for good. The Rockingham County School Board voted Monday to close Dillard and Draper Elementary schools. You've got some excess capacity. You probably need to close some schools and you save some money about half a million dollars yearly, according to Superintendent Rodney Shotwell. But the board did not vote on where current students will be moved next year, leaving parents like Kimberly Dalton scrambling. I honestly don't know where my son is gonna go. Right now, her third grader goes to yes. Dillard. She worries he'll be moved to another school farther away. Further drive, more stress, more finances. It'll put a, an even bigger financial strain on my family. The superintendent's asking the board to divide students from Draper to Lincoln and Central Elementary. He wants students at Dillard to go to Huntsville and Stoneville. It's unfortunate that we've come to this point, but, the, but we are going to celebrate the rich history that both of these schools have been able to do to contribute to the education of kids in Rockingham County. Yeah, and the superintendent says if the board does pass his recommendations, the New Vision School will move into Dillard Elementary. If they do do that, parents will have the option to keep their kids at Dillard under the New Vision School, but they would have to uh, transition to a year-round school schedule because that is what New Vision Elementary operates under. And the board is expected to be voting on all of these details over the next few months, probably in December or January. Jessica, thank you. A promising update on the Triad's bid to land Amazon's new headquarters. A new ranking list North Carolina as the top contender for the new Amazon headquarters. The CNBC ranking lists the Triad as well as Raleigh and Charlotte as possible picks. The article's author says North Carolina cities have the best shot at being Amazon's choice and it's 50,000 jobs. He wrote North Carolina has one of the best workforces in the country and mentioned our state's heritage of innovation. But he did mention some negatives, including that North Carolina lacks mass transportation. But it's important to note this is just the writer's opinion. Amazon is expected to make a decision sometime next year. And speaking of jobs, Governor Roy Cooper just announced dozens of new jobs are coming to Mebane. Ergus is opening a new facility and investing $47 million in the community. The facility is expected to create 35 new jobs over the next five years. Salaries for the new jobs will vary by position, but the company says the initial estimated payroll will be nearly $1.6 million. Ergus specializes in gases, welding, and safety products. 
After multiple women accused legendary newsman Charlie Rose of sexual misconduct, he's out of a job. CBS and PBS both announced they fired Rose after the allegations. Eight women who either worked for Rose or tried to work for him on his PBS program accused him of acts ranging from inappropriate touching to walking naked in front of them. Rose apologized for his behavior but says he does not believe all the allegations are accurate. And in the last hour, Disney, Disney Pixar chief creative officer John Lasseter announced he's taking a six month leave of absence. The news broke as The Hollywood Reporter was compiling a report into alleged sexual misconduct. In a memo obtained by our news partners at USA Today, Lasseter wrote that he learned that he made some people feel disrespected or uncomfortable. He says he hopes to return after the six months as a better leader. Right now, we want to take a closer look into allegations in general. Well, we've heard sexual assault, sexual misconduct, sexual harassment. So what's the difference? Well, WFMY News 2's Erica Stapleton is digging a bit deeper. I would say the best way to explain this is that sexual assault and sexual harassment fall under the umbrella of sexual misconduct. Sexual assault is sexual behavior without consent of the recipient, like rape or molestation. Sexual harassment is unwanted verbal or physical behavior, like lewd comments or groping. Katherine Johnson, the director of the Guilford County Family Justice Center, says this isn't something specific to one industry. It can happen to any or happen in any field to anybody. We all have a, a different definition of what we will tolerate or what is okay and what's acceptable. And so if someone comes forward and says that's not acceptable or please don't do that, then that choice should certainly be respected. Johnson says if a line is continually crossed, it's time to go to human resources to see what can be done about that action. At the Family Justice Center, there are resources available for people who think they might have experienced sexual trauma. I posted more information for you on our website, WFMYNews2.com. The statewide discussion about the opioid crisis continued in Rockingham County today. Sheriff Sam Page hosted North Carolina Attorney General Josh Stein for an opioid crisis summit. Members of the law enforcement community, health and human services, and the faith community all took part in the discussion. Stein said he wanted to learn more about the extent of the problem in Rockingham County and what the community is doing to try to solve it. Sheriff Page said the approach should be twofold, stop the drugs from coming in and treating people with addictions. But in the end, Stein said it will take everyone from the president to the average community member to end the opioid crisis. A man wanted for murder in Greensboro turned himself in today. 20-year-old Jamal Townsend is accused of shooting and killing Brandon Fry at Stone's Throw Apartments in early October. Greensboro Crime Stoppers put out an alert looking for Townsend this morning. He turned himself in by 4 o'clock this afternoon. Police charged Townsend with first-degree murder and robbery with a dangerous weapon. One Lexington couple has many reasons to be thankful this holiday season. 150,000 reasons to be exact. James and Bridget Jones won $150,000 in the North Carolina Lottery's season goal game. Bridget bought the winning ticket, a $5 ticket at Kelly's High Rock Grocery on Highway NC8. Now Bridget has five children and says she wasn't sure what Christmas was going to be like this year. She says her luck came at just the perfect time. Three triad school districts are getting thousands of dollars in grant money. The money comes from the new coping and mobile app development grant program. It will help schools develop computer science, coding and mobile app development programs. Asheville City Schools will receive close to 29 grand. Winston-Salem Forsyth County Schools will get 28,000 and Randolph County Schools are awarded $10,000. For the seventh year in a row, a triad church collected enough food to feed 10,000 people for Thanksgiving. Williams Memorial CME Church in High Point always looks forward to giving families the ingredients to enjoy a traditional Thanksgiving meal. The food donations started rolling in back in May, and today they passed out the boxes of food. Families received things like turkey, green beans, stuffing, and a whole lot more. The meal is expected to feed a family of five. The Winston-Salem Police Department, they're making sure a family will not go hungry this Thanksgiving. Check out this tweet. Police delivered a turkey dinner to a family in the Easton community in Winston-Salem.
In downtown Greensboro, the Cultural Center is sprucing up the building with holiday cheer. There's a new Happy Holiday sculpture made of stainless steel and hangs on the corner of Friendly Avenue and Davy Street. If you get a minute, just check it out. It looks great. Coming up next on WFMY News 2 at 6, most people are getting ready to get together with the family to celebrate Thanksgiving. So experts say it's a good time to talk to your kids about boundaries, especially when it comes to hugging. Now, we want to know what you think and give you a chance to weigh in when we come back. Your mobile phone eavesdropping on your personal conversations. Sounds crazy, but... Phones are really snitches in their pockets. Out of nowhere, ads pop up on your phone for things you've never searched for, just chatted about. Well, your phone is always transmitting, it's always phoning home, it's always, it's always connected to the internet. What, if anything, can be done about phone spying? Tonight at 11 on WFMY News 2. Honey, can we do this tomorrow? Can we do this tomorrow? If you have heart failure symptoms, your risk of hospitalization could increase, making tomorrow uncertain. But Entresto is a medicine that was proven in the largest heart failure study ever to help more people stay alive and out of the hospital than a leading heart failure medicine. Women who are pregnant must not take Entresto. It can cause harm or death to an unborn baby. Don't take Entresto with an ACE inhibitor or Aliskiran. If you've had angioedema while taking an ACE or ARB medicine, don't take Entresto. The most serious side effects are angioedema, low blood pressure, kidney problems, or high potassium in your blood. Tomorrow, tomorrow. When can you do this again, Grandpa? Well, how about tomorrow? Ask your doctor about Entresto and help make tomorrow possible. Hi folks, I'm Erica Gleason Coakley. And I'm Chad Gleason, here with Roofing Pro. We're excited to announce our lifetime roof for $99 a month. Call today. The first 25 callers receive free ridge vent. Want to save energy this winter? Purchase windows for your entire home for $99 a month. Call today. The first 25 callers receive free wrapping of your casing. We also offer no payment and no interest for one year. Call us today or visit us at roofing-pro.com and let us earn your business. All of the triad. All of the news. Always WFMY News 2 at 6 p.m. Thanksgiving is almost here, a precious time for families to get together. The holiday includes a lot of eating, a lot like of laughing, this. and a lot of hugging. But children might not feel comfortable with extended family they're not very familiar with. The Girl Scouts of America says this is a good time to talk to your children about boundaries. Now we want to know what you think. At what age do you start teaching kids about personal boundaries? Your choices are preschool, elementary school, middle school, high school, and haven't had that talk yet. You can go to our website, WFMYNews2.com slash vote now to get in on that conversation. In an article on the Girl Scouts website, the organization says that your child doesn't owe anyone a hug just because they haven't seen that person in a while. Or if that person gave them a gift, the Girl Scout says this is a good opportunity to learn when boundaries are and when they're young. They believe these lessons can last a lifetime. The Girl Scouts recommends not forcing your daughter to give hugs or kisses if they're apprehensive, but at the same time, children should not be rude. Suggested alternatives are air kisses, high fives, or things like fist bumps. That's right. Well, we ask you, at what age do you start teaching kids about personal boundaries? Here's what you're saying so far. A majority of you, 63%, say preschool, followed by elementary school at 35%. Okay. Well, Tim Buckley is in the Weather Garden. And Tim, what can we expect? Everything looked pretty good today. You know, some years you just dread that drive or maybe the head heading over to the airport because the weather is going to be a mess. Not the case this year. I think we've really dodged a bullet, you could say, with nice, clear weather tomorrow into Thursday as well. And extend that all the way into the weekend when you're coming back things are still looking to be in good shape as far as I see it. After tonight, no rain chances in the forecast. We'll talk about the rain we'll see in the next few hours coming up in just a second here. But overall, this forecast pretty good. Thursday's a cooler day of weather. We'll warm up again heading into the first part of the weekend, just like last weekend. Remember that warm Saturday, 
cold Sunday and that cool down just again won't really be lasting very long. We have that same type of weather pattern going on where we warm up, then we cool down, then we warm up, then we cool down. Here, let's look at the next two days closely. Sunshine for tomorrow. It will be a little breezy out there, but overall a great day for traveling. Nice day for a drive. Hopefully the traffic isn't bad where you're headed. Thanksgiving itself, it's a cool day. We'll have temperatures in the 30s for the morning, right there in the upper 40s to low 50s for the afternoon time. Temperatures right now still are fairly mild compared to where they were this time yesterday. Upper 50s, Greensboro, Lexington, Salisbury, Ashboro, and sitting at 54 currently in Siler City. And I wanted to point out the dew point. 48 is a pretty low dew point, not all that humid, but remember how bone dry it was yesterday. Maybe your skin got really dry, some chapped lips, things like that. Our dew point temperature is 27 degrees higher today than at this time yesterday. That's that return of the moisture, the return of the humidity. So you might not be having to reach for the lotion quite so much today compared to yesterday. That's something you might be noticing right now. Looking at this rain, it's building in from South Carolina and starting to move upward. I don't think we're getting a ton of rain tonight, but we are seeing this start to materialize in the upstate of South Carolina and headed up 85 towards Charlotte as well. So into tonight we go. I'm going to expect a decent amount of shower activity, mainly south and east of I-85. Here's the weather maker, that low pressure off the coast. It's pretty much to our east, so really the rain is going to be from here that way. Foothills, you don't get all that much of it. There's also a cold front that will be sliding in tomorrow, so we're dry, but that colder air is going to be entering our area. It brings down the humidity, it brings down the temperature, and we'll have a cold night of weather heading into Thursday morning. So Thanksgiving, you start out in the low 30s, maybe a bit of frost out there, and only warming up into the upper 40s to low 50s for Thanksgiving Day itself. Not a bad way to start the holiday with that cool, crisp feel to the air. You'll just have that lasting for about one or two days, then we'll get back a little bit warmer after that. Overnight tonight, there are plenty of scattered showers that will be forming, especially late evening, so keep that in mind. Have the rain gear handy if you're headed out and about. Here's tomorrow. Maybe a little patchy fog in the morning. That's the only thing I could see impacting your travel in a bad way. Other than that, it's sunshine, and we have some upper 50s for you. Thanksgiving Day, a lot of sunshine and a little on the cool side of things. 50 degrees, pretty nice to stay inside, watch the football, help mom in the kitchen, or maybe you just go outside and throw the football. You'll be good to do that as well. Upper 50s Friday and Saturday. Nice weather there as well, but another big cool down comes in Sunday into Monday. Stay with us. We're coming right back. News 2 Weather Garden is sponsored by Aviation Triad. For career information, log on to aviationtriad.com. Come in now to Crossroads Ford and Kernersville for the Black Friday year-end sales event going on right now with our biggest discounts and biggest savings, giving you the best prices in the triad. New 2018 F-150 XLTs take up to $10,000 off. That's right, 2018s, or take up to $14,000 off remaining new 2017 F-150s. So come see us today for great selection, outstanding customer service, and the best prices only at Crossroads Ford and Kernersville. We would like to know, can you solve this puzzle? Food and drink is the category. Turkey and stuffing. Play more wheel. Tonight at 7 on WFMY News 2. I've got a new booklet review that I'd like to share with you. Tax Strategies for Retirement Planning. It can't give you unique, specific tax advice. However, retirees can be affected by a variety of taxes, state income taxes, death taxes, social security taxes, but it seems like the one that all retirees will deal with is federal income tax. In this booklet, you'll find the importance of tax efficiency, employer-sponsored plans, when to pay income taxes on a retirement plan. It reviews the penalty for not withdrawing the correct amount from your retirement plans, how Social Security benefits can be taxed, and even the tax linked to tax-free accounts. It has strategies to help you minimize taxes in the future, tax diversification, Roth IRA conversions, and advantages of tax-free retirement plans. You're going to want a copy of this booklet. It's free. If you have at least 100000 or more Save for retirement, I want you to have this booklet. No games, no gimmicks. Does turkey make you tired or is it something else making you sleepy after Thanksgiving dinner? We verify the turkey day truth. And we're dishing out more deals, two more top 10 lists of the best Black Friday bargains tomorrow on the Good Morning Show. 
The Treasury Department announced a new round of sanctions against North Korea. Just yesterday, President Trump designated the country a state sponsor of terrorism. President Trump said North Korea's weapons department was only a part of his decision. The president cited the assassination of Kim's half-brother and the American college student who died after being held hostage by North Korea. The leaders of South Korea, Japan, and Australia support Trump's decision, but China's foreign minister believes the move will make Kim less open to talks. President Trump also spoke with President, uh, Russian President Vladimir Putin about North Korea during a telephone conversation today. President Trump got a break from his busy schedule with the turkey pardoning tradition at the White House. The president pardoned a pair of turkeys named Wishbone and Drumstick. The White House says the two turkeys will live out their days at Virginia Tech's Gobbler's Rest exhibit. The turkey pardoning tradition started decades ago when President George H.W. Bush was in office. News 2 Weather Garden is sponsored by Aviation Triad. For career information, log on to AviationTriad.com. Wherever you are, whether you're ready or not, it's coming with a purpose, with persistence, with the power to change the way you live. So you don't have to change the way you live. Generac Automatic Standby Generators. When it comes to generator sales and services, it's best to call Beacon. Where residential customers never pay overtime. There was a time when the world was lit by candle flame and lantern glow. In the waning of the year, new wonders blazed to life, and night outshone the day. There was a time when one could see things in a clearer light. It was a glorious time. It was last night at Biltmore. Staying the night is even more enticing with Biltmore's two splendid hotels. Celebrate the season during the winter event going on now at Flow Mazda of Greensboro. For a limited time, lease the 2018 Mazda 3 or the 2017 Mazda CX-5 for just $199 per month. Or drive the 2017 Mazda 6 for just $19,999. Plus, every new Mazda comes with two years free maintenance and the Flow Mazda Advantage. The Advantage includes complimentary NC State inspections, tire rotations, car washes, and so much more. Visit Flow Mazda of Greensboro today or shop online at flowmazdagreensboro.com. Spaniards is home for all of life's winning moments. Eat, drink, and be merry at Shoulder Spaniards this holiday season. From our family to yours, Merry Christmas. Well, this weekend, the Deeks wrap up the football regular season, and they're going after a milestone. A win against Duke would bring Wake Forest football to 450 wins all time. Wake is coming off a big win over rival NC State Saturday for their second straight victory. Now, if they can pick up a third win against Duke this weekend, it'll be their first time finishing the regular season with straight, three straight wins since 1967. Now, they're already the highest scoring team in Wake Forest football history, but still, we're not satisfied. I mean, we came into this season, uh, we knew the schedule was tough, um, but now we're sitting here at seven wins. We want eight. I mean, we want to be one of the best teams in, in school history. Although they'll get a chance to pick up win number eight this weekend in Winston-Salem. The Deeks host Duke Saturday at 1230. And over in Elon, a couple of big honors for the Phoenix. Freshman quarterback Davis Cheek has been named the CAA Conference Rookie of the Year. He ranks third in the conference in passing yards, and his head coach, Kurt Signetti, has been named CAA Coach of the Year. The Phoenix start the playoffs at home on Saturday against Furman. And it's Tuesday, which means it's time to recap the fantasy football week. Tonight, I'll have a new edition of my Right or Wrong segment for you, but I want to hear from you. Let me know how your fantasy football team did this week over on my Facebook page. It's right here. That's Patrick Wright, WFMY News 2. Your responses could end up on the air. I'll be right back. 
Frederick's biggest ever Black Friday doorbuster event starts 9 a.m. Thanksgiving Day and 6 a.m. Black Friday. Men's Chaps and Izod, buy one, get two free. Playtex bras, $12.88. Designer handbags, $20. Winter Crocs, $18. Five-piece red copper sets, $29.98 each. Himalayan salt lamps, $10.88. And Star Shower Laser and Motion, $15. Hamrick's doorbusters of a lifetime. Thanksgiving Day, Black Friday, and Saturday. We traveled the world sampling the best cheese for two reasons. One, to bring them all back for you to enjoy. And two, we got to eat a bunch of really good cheese along the way. Publix Deli Specialty Cheese. Over 36 varieties to fall in love with. Publix, where shopping is a pleasure. We the people. We are innovators, dreamers, leaders. Yeah, we feel pain. We get tired, but it won't stop us. God's call is our pursuit, and we will champion his name. Through the years, our main goal at Barrico, Carolina Fuels and Alamance Oil Company is to keep your family comfortable since 1924. We're here during winter with propane and fuel. We're here during spring to tune up your air conditioning. We're here during summer to keep your company running smoothly inside and out. We're here during fall to keep you cozy. Winter, spring, summer, fall. Barrico does it all. Barrico, always dependable. Let Bojangles do the cooking this holiday season by pre-ordering a seasoned fried turkey. Bojangles Juicy Fried Turkeys are ready to heat and serve. Order your fried turkey for $39.99 today. Bojangles, it's bow time. Now's the time to give the gift of tradition and save at Field & Stream, where you'll find great deals even before Black Friday, like 25% off all regular price Hornady Centerfire, Big Game, and Slug ammo. Save on Remington Gun Club shot shells and save $300 on the Field & Stream Sportsman Gun Safe. Get up to $50 in Field & Stream cash when you buy Yeti. And with our best price guarantee, if you find a lower price somewhere else, we'll match it. Where traditions begin, Field & Stream. To 9-11, have you ever felt like your phone is spying on you? Many people say they've seen online ads pop up for things they've never searched for, but have chatted about within an earshot of their devices, we verify if your phone is really spying on you tonight on WFMY News 2 at 11. And the holiday is just almost here. We're right, right on the cusp of Thanksgiving, <laughs> right? So where are you going? You're going far away, staying close at home. I think the weather will cooperate, and that's always a lovely thing. Uh, the rain pretty much only impacting New England tomorrow. We'll have some rain tonight. Uh, but then Thanksgiving Day itself, there's the turkey. You ready for it? Uh, we're going <laughs> yeah. to be dry as well. So pretty much good stuff all the way through the weekend. I don't expect any rain headed our way anytime soon, except for right now. The next couple of hours <laughs> there uh, we through, go. <laughs> through about 4 a.m. You could catch some showers out there. So this evening, go to the grocery store, something like that, like the rest of the, the, world, <laughs> the world, you'll yeah. have some rain gear handy, I think. Ooh, you have to get like the ingredients for stuffing mm -hmm. or green bean casserole mm -hmm. or pecan I'm just going to get cranberry sauce. That's what you still I like. need a little bit more? No, that's just what I like. <laughs> Some extra. That's right. There'll be one thing you forget until Thursday, and then it's the panic time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it always happens. It does. It, it always does. happens. Thanks for watching WFMY News 2 at 6. We'll see you again tonight at 11. is brought to you by Green Lincoln of Greensboro, the number one Lincoln dealer in North Carolina four years in a row. An extraordinary event for the whole family. 
Holly. The Craftsman's Christmas Classic this Friday through Sunday, Greensboro Coliseum. Hundreds of artists and craftsmen. Fabulous gifts, decorations, seasonal treats just for you. Details, savings at christmasclassic.com. What you gonna do with all that stuff? All that stuff is quite enough. Why you gotta be, be, be so tough? I really, really like all of my stuff. My stuff, my stuff. My stuff, my stuff, my stuff. Clean it up. We got a place for all your stuff. Storing your stuff, it ain't that tough. From shelves to drawers and bunks to bins. At Room to Go Kids, everybody wins. For the best selection of kids and teens furniture, shop at one of our convenient locations near you. Room to Go Kids and Teens. Check it out. Julie? Wow, you look tired. I got up at 3 a.m. for Black Friday, but I saved hundreds. How'd you make out? I slept in. Still got a great deal. Oh. Get something you really want during the GMC Acadia Black Friday event. Get 15% below MSRP on all 2017 Acadia SLT models. That's over $6,700 on this GMC Acadia. See your Piedmont Triad GMC dealer. Celebrate the season, the one and only Craftsman's Christmas Classic, this Friday through Sunday, Greensboro Coliseum. The Triad's favorite holiday tradition with choices for every style, taste, and budget. See what's new. Save big at christmasclassic.com. Don't miss it. CBS Tonight. My water broke, Tim. Go. Even heroes. Excuse me, an emergency. Stay back. We need help. Need a miracle. Let everyone else go. The clock is ticking. Your life's about to change. It's the best Thanksgiving ever. New NCIS. Then, the bull hits the fan. You set me up, and the irony is that I'm trying to save your life. New bull.